Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is the third video in the series of Tally's Power of Reporting. So in this video, we will learn another technique of comparing critical revenue aspects of the organization. So with this technique, you will realize that you can generate hundreds of report by applying this logic and technique. So let us go to Tally and explore the magic of reporting in Tally. In the last video, we saw a couple of techniques related to profit and loss account. So we are in the profit and loss account. So from here, let us continue with a couple of revenue related techniques that you can apply to get more insights of your company's operations. So if you notice here on the income side, we have this sales ledger. We are seeing this in detail mode and since we are seeing sales in italic, that means sales ledger is directly classified under sales account. So select sales ledger and when you select and enter, basically you will drill down. So when you press enter, Tally is going to basically give you the monthly analysis. So you can select a particular month and then enter into that month. Tally will give you the list of all the vouchers. So you can select a particular voucher and when you press enter, you will go to the voucher itself now this is basically we call this as the leaf level of your report so from profit and loss account we selected sales ledger and from the monthly report we selected the month of march and the month of march it gave the list of transactions the sales transactions for the month of march we selected a particular sales invoice and when we pressed entered we are in the sales voucher now just in case let us say any voucher you are viewing from any report and if you realize that there is a mistake that has happened while capturing the data you can always now go and then modify the information so if you observe here it says accounting voucher alteration screen so any information you can alter maybe you can change the party in case of sales uh, voucher generally you will not change all this maybe you will have some modifications pertaining to your payment entry or journal entry so the idea here is any modification that you are doing and once you save this voucher tally will automatically update the modified information on a real-time basis so now for you to come back all you have to do is just keep pressing escape and we are in the monthly report now another important analysis that as an owner of a company or as a management of a company would want to do is to compare the current year monthly sales with the previous year monthly sales. So we understood in our balance sheet that how you can use a new column feature to bring the intended information that you are looking for. Let us again come to the right side button bar which is your secret number one and here if you see you have this new column click on new column and in the new column what is that we want to compare we want to compare the previous year sale with the current year current year is already there displaying press a22 tally is intelligent enough it will know that you want to see from 1st of april 2022 which is the previous year of this company enter you will observe that 1st of april 2022 is selected and in the two just press m M for March, which again we saw what are the keyboard strokes that you can use for monthly selection in our balance sheet video. So just type M23. Tally will know that you want to see as on 31st of March 2023. Enter. We want to see the actual values. And now when you come to the name of the ledger, you will see that all the ledgers that you have created is getting listed here. So by doing this new column analysis, literally you can compare any ledger with any ledger as long as the information that you are seeking is going to make sense. So in this case, we want to compare the previous year sales with the current year. So sales is already selected here. Just press enter and now we are viewing the current year sales with the previous year sales now fortunately in the current year there are no debit transactions first we have to understand especially for beginners what is this debit transactions that is appearing in the previous year sales monthly report the debit columns is nothing but the sales returns that has been captured through a credit note now what is the focus of our analysis? The focus of our analysis is 
that we want to compare monthly sales with the previous year's monthly sale. Now, in any case, this is your gross sale and this is your return. So, 22,80,000 minus 1,41 is what will get reflected in your P&L account. It will always take the net value as your sales for the year. Now, you can't every time use a calculator and then say 22,80,000 minus 141, what is the net sale? So, it is going to be disturbing and it will not give you the train of thought that you are looking at. So, now the challenge is you are not worried about the closing balance. Your focus is more on the monthly sales and at the same time, you want tally to net off this and show only the net transaction that is affected which is reflecting as part of your p and l account and again here you have to hide this or remove this closing balance so this is what is the requirement so how are we going to handle this requirement so like i mentioned first look into the secret number one that is on the right hand side button and see is there any button which says net the transaction or don't show me closing balance if you see here there is no button which is representing the requirement we want now come down to the bottom button bar again there is no button which is going to solve your requirement so now is where you are going to use your secret number two that is your f12 configure so press f12 configure and now you have this configure which is related to the report that we are seeing so what is our requirement our requirement is that you want to see net transaction only very nice so press y for yes and total column you don't want the total column so leave this as no you want to see percentage so that you know it becomes easy for you to comprehend the information when you are seeing the percentages so you say yes i want to see percentage enter and you want to see the percentage of total so what does it mean if you take the total sale so if you see here the total sale for the in the background we are able to see here the total sale here we are able to see here is 1 crore 81 lakh 55,400 now when you select the percentage of total tally will take 1.81 crore as your 100% of sale and now it will start calculating the percentage of each month in retrospect to your total sale that is what is your total column enter now do you want to see closing balance we don't want closing balance because our focus is more on the monthly sales of the current year with the previous year so you make this as no enter and let it be monthly and you're going to just press control a see now your focus of analysis is much much better now so there is no closing balance and there is no debit entry tally is net of the entry and here it is netted of the amount minusing the credit note value also and we are also able to see the percentage also like i mentioned 100 percent is your total sale now you will have to analyze which month you made better sale so if you see here in the month of october in the current year your sales is 18.5 percent of your total sale so the same way you want to now compare and see what was your previous year's highest sale so again when you come here if you see by looking at the percentage it becomes very easy to identify so if you see here in the previous year your sales was in the month of august so now this will give you a lot of insights for you to analyze what was the reason for higher sale in the previous year in the month of august and what is the reason for higher sale in the month of october so this way you will draw a lot of insights from this technique that you are going to apply for the comparative analysis so once you have done your comparative analysis of your sales of current year monthly with the sales of previous year monthly you can now perform much more analysis if required now this is where your secret number one is going to help you to apply more technique so i'll show you quickly one technique that you can do we are seeing this monthly comparative analysis of your current year sale with your previous year sale let us say for some reason you want to now go one step further and then analyze the same information on a fortnightly basis so how do you do that very simple all you have to do is come to the right hand side button bar and you have this option called 
change view click on change view tally is now asking you how do you want to view so we want to view this comparative analysis on a fortnightly basis you can do it daily you can do it weekly fortnightly quarterly half yearly all this can be done so let us select fortnightly enter fortnightly and now you will see quickly tally is broken down your monthly into fortnightly and it is also giving you your fortnightly values right so if you see here in the previous year in the both fortnight of the month of april you had made a sale but whereas in the current year from 16th of april to 30th of april no sale has happened now this is going to give you realization of understanding what is happening in your business operation so now quickly if you want to convert this into quarterly or convert it back into monthly all now you know that you have to come to change view come down here and select monthly you will get our previous report monthly so the next intuitive thought process that you will have or you want to do is that you have compared the current year sales with the previous year sales now you want to compare the current year sales with the current year purchase so how do we achieve that normal way is that you can come down to this column you can delete the column then again go to new column and then select the period and then select the purchase ledger it is going to be a long walk through that you have to do so in tally for you to achieve anything there are minimum two to three ways in achieving the intended objective that you want so you have to over a period of time you will learn what is the easiest way that you can achieve your goal so the idea is you should achieve your goal with the shortest time period so this is where tally is going to help you instead of deleting the column and adding a new column if you'll notice that there is one more button here which says alter column so here click on alter column now tally is asking you what is the column information that you want to alter so we say that now we want to have the current year purchase so you say a23 which is your current year and m24 enter actuals and this time in the new column you want to compare the purchase ledger just type pur enter and now observe this you are viewing the current year sales with the current year purchase so again the percentages are also there so we know that you know we had done in the month of october the highest sale and you can also compare your purchases month on month and this will basically give you direct insight of how much of material you are buying and what is the amount of inventory that you are holding so when we go into the inventory report we will also see much more information related to inventory through the techniques that we are going to learn so we have now understood the concept of new column new column is a user defined column which i had mentioned in my previous video alter column so we now learned how to alter an existing column all you have to do is just be careful put the cursor in the column which you want to alter so the cursor is now in the current year sale if you want to alter this column then you can use your new column or if you want to alter your purchase column then put your cursor into purchase column and then go into alter column then we also learned delete column so we have now added this current year purchase we have done this analysis and let's say you want to delete this column very simple your cursor is already there in the purchase column all you have to do is just click tally will automatically delete the new column that we have added and we also understood auto column auto column is a predefined periodicity column so this way with the help of this four buttons you can play around with your data to get better insight in the upcoming videos we will also see much more techniques of various other reports i hope this video would have given you a fair idea of how you can leverage these techniques and generate innumerable reports for you to analyze the company's performance and make informed decision so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much